Hi everyone, hey, hey. this is Dave and Roxanne. Welcome to another episode of It's, it's a, a New Day, Day. It's, it's a, a New You. <laughs> if this is your first time tuning in to our page, we do this episodes once, two times, sometimes more than three times per week. And the goal of this episode is to encourage you, to inspire you that if you had a tough day yesterday, there's always a new day to become a new you, to become all that God created <laughs> you to be. <laughs> Um, so you always start with a question. What's the question today? Yes. Um, so the question today is, what do you do when you're discharged? When you're discharged? Uh, mm. What's another word for discharge? Mm, when you're, you're feeling low. When you're feeling low, when your spirit is low, when you don't feel like doing anything, mm. or you're, you don't know, but there are times that you just don't feel happy or something, or like you're, <laughs> you know, you're not in the mood or something. If this is the first time you're tuning in, let us know where you're tuning in from because we always like to say hi to you. Hi, Jude May from you. Halifax. Watching from Halifax. Hi, Jude May. <laughs> and we want to know how global we are because yes. we have you know, people from around the world. Um, so for some of you, it's probably early morning, some of you in the evening. Ooh, yeah, from Melbourne. Melbourne Australia. Jen, hey, Jen. Thanks Jen. for tuning in. <laughs> so, you know, this is normal. You know, we get discharged because, you know, we get stressed from our jobs. You know, we may get, you know, we, we overstretch ourselves, right? Um, or we're we're serving too much or mm. like we're sometimes we're too busy mm -hmm. with 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 stuff like it could be good it could be bad or we're just preoccupied with yeah. a lot of things sunita says i'm from toronto hello hi sunita sunita um <laughs> yeah so you know we've experienced this many times it could be death you could be stressed with you just oh, thinking yeah. the thoughts alone thinking i remember when we were eighty six thousand dollars in consumer debt thinking of that over and over that discharged me uh, just the thoughts and not only discharge give me more gray hairs <laughs> um, so if you're feeling that today you know we want to share this with you because this might help you this this might you know allow you to you know to to get charged again charge yeah. up again now the first one we want to share with you we're going to share with you three the first way to what we do that help us to to recharge ourselves is to be around people that empowers you yeah you know, if you have a community, if you have, you know, if you have friends that every time you go to them, a group of people, you always get charged up, yeah. right? You know, you feel good about yourself. Mm -hmm. It boosts your confidence, you yeah. know? Don't spend time with the people <laughs> that drag you down mm -hmm. or like, you know, like don't make you feel good, right? <laughs> when I'm discharged, I watch the New Day New Year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Thank you, Monica. <laughs> uh, you know, if you're, you know, in, in, a, in a business community or even your spiritual community, mm -hmm. right? Go to them. You know, we have a, a light group. We call it in our in our uh, in our faith community. And uh, you know, we, we when I remember every time I go there, sometimes there are days I'm discharged. But when I listen to them, let my challenges out, talk to them, high five, give them a big up, big up, all those things, I get charged up again because yeah. I feel the love. You know, the the embrace, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And um, second one is um, basically self-love. That's right. <laughs> um, treat yourself. Sometimes um, um, our nature is, you know, you give too much of yourself, too much of your time to uh, with others, but you don't have time alone or time for yourself that you forget to do the things that you love to do, mm. right? Like for us, um, we love, um, you know, we love to have, um, you know, watch movie. Yeah. We don't watch TV, but... Or we don't it, have TV. We don't. No, we have. Oh, we TV, have TV. Sorry, but we don't, we don't have, have cable. Cable. There you go. Um, we just watch. You know, we love to watch movies. Mostly um, motivational. Yeah, or like romantic, romantic like yeah. uh, or action. Uh, we watch or like what we love to do is um, you know, go to a spa, massage, or you know, just spa. Yeah, it's my favorite. Spa. Way of Reading recharging. a book, <laughs> right? Um, so really, like, because some people they love to paint, but they don't have the time to paint or mm. you know like or shopping i don't know but as long as it doesn't so the, the idea of, of, of recharging is that um you know really it's kind of like think about a cell phone right um so many apps working but if you shut some things off or delete some right it allows your phone to you know store battery faster mm -hmm. right so it's kind of like if you're doing so many things so many rushing in your stuff and if you just unplug some of those things turn them off yeah. With the meantime, it allows you to recharge. Treating yourself, yes. Treating yourself by treating yourself and going to like a you know, just for an hour mm -hmm. of spa and you just quiet to yourself and yeah. being you know self love, right? Yeah. Jude may say I, I, I go out shopping. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's awesome. 
Uh, thanks, Monica. That's good to know. <laughs> the second one is self love, and however you, you know, do self love to yourself, that it it re reboots. Oh, your some energy. people they do um, manicure. That's <laughs> self love. Um, like um, what are some the people other? go for? You know, oh, they, facial. <laughs> facial. Some people love to you know go hiking. Oh, know, hiking, yeah. You do sports that that allows you to sports, yeah. To to kind of um, yourself. This is what you love to do, right? Yeah. Um, Second thing is self-love, but the last thing I think the most important one is to connect to the source. Yes. And you know, connect to God, mm -hmm. right? Because He is the ultimate, you know, supercharger. Oh yes. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like you know um, a cell phone, right? Like a and cell phone. It's like a cell phone like this, right? You know, you 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 use it day in and day out, right? Mm -hmm. But once you run out of battery, you have to. You know, we have this thing, right? Charger. You have a charger, right? The ultimate charger right there. You have to connect to the source. Mm -hmm. That's what you need to do. Connect to the source again. So you get juiced up. You get yeah. plugged 100%, up. 100%. Yeah. Back to 100%. And then you can go out again to the world to serve your family, yeah. serve your work, you know, serve your, you know, your business clients, life, whatever yeah. you are, your clients, right? You connect to the source because he ultimately supplies everything mm. you need, you know? And um, I notice myself if if I get so busy and you know when I wake up in the morning I just right away I use my cell phone or you know I don't have the time to spend time with God like I notice myself I became more irritable mm. more insecure more you know like it's easy for me to get frustrated but if you like you know daily make the time to connect with God connect with your source you know you feel good about yourself you feel blessed right so always connect because we need that charge up right because yeah. if you don't connect to the real source you're you're not you're never gonna be 100 yeah. percent charged you could be like 50 percent <laughs> right now and then the next day like 20 percent you really need to like you know charge it up yeah, right? if your goal is to become a blessing to others you gotta connect you gotta charge yeah. up with a blesser every single day yeah. so that you'll be fully charged up do those other things but the ultimate one is yeah. to connect to your source mm -hmm. connect to God you know because it ult he ultimately supplies everything you need yeah. so it brings us to our verse um, the verse today is from Philippians 4 verse 19 <laughs> and it says my God will full will supply every need of yours according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus my God will supply every yes, you know, that word every is need. every need not just some need not just other need is every need, mm -hmm. right? And you know, when we were going through our toughest times, stress other minds, we spent, for me anyways, 30 to an hour connecting to the source every single day. Yeah. That's what sustained me, you know, it had gave me vision and, you know, allowed me to have the confidence to get to out of the debts, yeah. you know, in the business, all the things that we went through because we always connected to the yes. source. My prayer for you today is that you get time you know these 30 minutes a day 20 to, to connect to the source connect to God every day because he will supply every, every need. need not just some need but every need, need. <laughs> I hope we gave you value <laughs> thank you guys thanks for tuning in thanks for tuning in hi Stanny um, yes thanks Je Jen huh? that's nice yes he is a rock and strong foundation thank you guys <laughs> thanks for tuning in that is another episode of it's, it's a, a new day, day it's a new, new you god Take bless care. everyone god bless you happy weekend bye